Hey guys, good afternoon, well now and welcome to the video. I'm very excited to share an amazing, nice piece of automation with you. What I did is essentially, let me talk about that. So you know how you, whenever you wanna create a deployment package, whenever you're using a Lambda function, right? You wanna, let's say, use Pandas, you wanna use NumPy, you have to create a deployment zip and then you upload it on an AWS layers. I mean, that is tedious because, you know, always you have to follow that uh, folder structure. You have to make sure which Python version are you using. But I solved it. I, what I did is I wrote a small ETL script. I mean, not ETL, basically a small script in Python, which would generate that deployment zip for you. So no more hassle, just use the script. So let's see how it works. So all you have to say is Python ETL.py and uh, it will ask you like it's an open source project hey which python version are you using on aws lambda so le le let me show you how it works exactly it's very powerful and i'm i'm, uh, I'm pretty sure i mean it, it would speed up a lot of your process um, basically so now no more creating those uh, boring um, hierarchy so let's say we're going to create a function i'm just going to show you how rapidly you could use my library so let's say my test okay and i would use uh, the python version uh, let's say 3.6 okay uh let's do create a function and see how amazing my uh, uh small uh, library is nothing but i just wrote some you know scripts um so yeah i'll show you let's say you want to use request library in your lambda so you want to create a layer then you want to add all of that you know to create a layer it's it's tough right so now check check out my uh, library so all you can do is basically say which version of python you're using for aws lambda i'm using 3.6 i said that which uh, library you want to create a deployment package. So I say, hey, can you create me a one for request R-E-Q-U-E-S-T-S. -E -E Enter, it would run all of the shell commands for you. It would create a deployment package and all you gotta do is just use that package. So meanwhile, it's doing the hard work for you. Let me um, show you the console and then I'll show you the layers, of course. So give me one sec. So still installing. Okay, everything is done. So now it's installing the pip. Now it's crawling and it's creating a zip file for you. So you can directly deploy it. Okay, it's done. So now you have this Python zip uh, in this folder. All you gotta do is just upload this file. This code generated all of this for you. You don't have to worry about any anything now. So as you can see, we have this uh, hierarchy here. Now I wanna show you how you can use it. So let's go here. Let's go to, 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 to the layers, right? Uh, I have a few layers. I'm just gonna delete that maybe or just create a new one. Uh, let me see if I could uh, Yeah, I'm gonna delete all my layers here and I'm gonna show you how easy it was You know this library generated the zip file for you So you don't have to waste time in you know generating these packages and all of that just write the name and get your job done That's all so my um, Custom whatever you want to give okay, so test Upload a zip file. All you gotta do is just upload a zip file, guys. I mean, and I could also even automate further using a Terraform if you want. Um, so yeah, you know, I'm, I I hope you guys would use this library. It's an you know you can uh, uh, read the code and um, whatever. So the runtime you gotta say 3.6 because your Lambda was 3.6, right? Um, license whatever. We don't need that. So let's do a create function. Yeah. So this would create your layer. So you could use request module now in your Lambda easy as that okay it's as easy as that now you can basically just attach your lambda i mean you can attach your layer so uh, let me show that uh, let me go to the lambdas uh, oops it's kind of hard to when you uh, let me go to the functions so now i can technically uh what was my lambda name i forgot the name <laughs> Uh, was it a uh, summary test? Oh, I, let, let's create a lambda. I mean, I, I don't I don't remember I created one. So let's say test, I mean, and, and say 3.6. And I mean, that's it. So test, I'm just gonna say two. And I would attach the lambda on this, okay? So, oh, what am I saying? I'm gonna attach a layers on it. So yeah, hopefully, yeah. So let's wait for a couple of more seconds. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, come on, yeah, it's taking a while. Okay, so now, uh, since we have that layers, uh, all you could do is, uh, you know, uh, come here, add a layers, um, since we had that uh, custom layer. Uh, so, you know, no, not that one, custom layer. Yeah, my custom. So this is the one we created, remember? Uh, you know, just add that layer and you could use it in your Python code like that. So let me just show you uh, that it works. Okay, so we have that layer now. Um, the Lambda function would load up. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna import uh, requ 
requests. Oh, my intelligence. I need an intelligence. Okay, perfect. I don't want to make it complicated. Uh, deploy. I just want to test it. So I'm just going to show you. So that library uh, now the, the layers is there so you could use request library now in your code so click on test and here you can see it works fine so the layers was created everything was done for you with this uh, helper class i'm pretty sure this would be very very useful for everyone um, yeah please feel free to download it it's there on the github so whatever pandas numpy whatever you want to use on your aws uh, lay, uh, whatever you want to use on your aws lambda just use this uh, just use the script to generate that zip file no more hassle mysql database and any kind of package use the script hope this is useful and if so if you think uh, i did a good job i uh, please like my video and uh, subscribe to my channel uh, once again thank you for love thank you for support and keep smiling keep coding see you guys next time